Hey, what up, YouTube? Lego PC here, bringing you uh, another couple clips for Battlefield 4. Um, I think there's gonna be three clips in this game. Just some some fun stuff. I apologize, I'm grinding sooner. Uh, I got 87 clips saved up. Um, just been trying to unlock the guns. Just bought the season pass last week, or uh, I think that's what they call the season pass for the Battlefield 4, and I'm having a blast on. Kind of rising isn't bad, um, but I really like the one before that second assault. Uh, Caspian Border, um, Gulf of Omen, Operation Metro, fantastic, fantastic maps. Uh, this is Caspian Border here. I really, really enjoy this map. Even if you're not, even if it is a little sniper friendly, um, the only one I don't like is Firestorm because it's heavily, heavily um, sniper and vehicle friendly. Uh, but anyways, we're going to see some fun clips. just want to talk about um, some updates I saw for Call of Duty Ghosts. If you didn't know, I haven't, I haven't played that game in probably two or three weeks. Uh, probably about a week since I got my first chem strike on one. Just wasn't having a lot of fun with it. I still watch YouTube videos and I follow everybody on YouTube about it. Um, but I personally just wasn't having a lot of fun playing the game. Uh, I did just read on Charlie Intel that... Infinity Ward plans on changing up the way uh, what we call league play or clan versus clan is going to play. Um, they plan on introducing a one-on-one, -on -one or uh, I'm sorry, single-player element where you don't have to be with your clan. You be like mixed clan wars, so similar to something like league play from Be uh, from Black Ops 2, which I would be completely interested in. Um, sounds like they're going to minimize all the different uh, attachments and perks that are allowed in competitive play for example they said dead silence and amplify would change quite a bit um, no target finders a um, bunch of different stuff uh, the way the views are made um, so that way third person views you can't see where you died from um, it sounds very very cool I just want to see it come to light and the problem is it's already mid-January and this is the first time we're hearing it um, especially when you're competing with Battlefield 4, which, um, besides Bad Company 2, this is probably the best Battlefield I've played in a long time. Um, but, uh, I, I kind of want to give it a chance. If you guys haven't heard, the DLC is coming out in probably, uh, two weeks. And I just can't see myself buying the DLC, though I'm trying to talk myself into it, just to hope to God that the maps are better. Um, honestly, there's really no point. If you're on the edge, I'd probably go with waiting off. Just because in a couple months, you're going to have Titanfall, Watch Dogs. Um, I'm pumped about the EA UFC game that's coming out. As long as they keep it similar to Undisputed. Um, there's a lot of good games that are going to be coming out in spring. And then after that, you've got the summer games. Um, including the beta for Destiny, which I've already signed up for. Um... The Division looks phenomenal, and I heard they're going to do a beta for that. Um, so, honestly, I think Call of Duty is going to die pretty quickly anyways. I'm not too worried about it. Um, the reason I bought the DLC for Battlefield 4 is uh, the way they do it is a much better system. So, it's not just some maps every once in a while or anything like that. Um, it's basically you get special gold packs, uh, special guns... Um, the double XP boosts that you can activate at any time, which are awesome. I love that those come in the battle packs. Uh, the different stuff like that is what actually interests me in buying it. Um, so for $49, you get like six map packs. You get special premium stuff. Uh, the really cool thing is with the queue and servers in the weekend, it's really hard to get into a game, but premium members get them first. Um, so that's awesome. You don't have to wait in uh, the queue of 25 people. Um, so really I was impressed with the way their premium works. I never bought premium from Battlefield 4, so uh, I'm pretty happy with what I paid for that. Um, I wish microtransitions would disappear and then you pay for a video game and get a video game, but that's not going to happen anytime soon, not when these companies are making billions of dollars off this stuff. So anyways, the gameplay is coming to an end. Uh, I just wanted to rant a little bit about uh, some DLC stuff. Um, hopefully you see some more gameplays at finally level 40-something, I think. Uh, this is LEGO. Peace out. 